Hey, what's up guys, Jakey here. Today, I'm gonna be unboxing and taking a look at the XM1R uh, in white. This was sent out by Endgame Gear, so shout out to them. Um, but regardless, this is a solid mouse. I have the original XM1 right here that I bought. And I've been using this mouse for, I think a little bit over a year now, maybe a little less than a year. Um, but this is pretty much my end game mouse, like this shape and pretty much everything about the mouse for me is perfect. Um, so if you're a claw gripper, this is definitely a claw grip type of mouse. You can fingertip it as well. Fingertips pretty comfortable. Uh, palm grip, I wouldn't really recommend just cause it rides so low. Palm grip doesn't really suit this mouse. It's mainly for claw grippers. Um, the size is pretty much perfect for me. Uh, I have, my hands are 19 centimeters long and 10 centimeters wide roughly. And this mouse fits pretty much like a glove in my hand. So my old one obviously has the black finish. This one's in white. Plus, um, I think the difference between the XM1R and the regular XM1 is uh, the cable's a little bit different. I know the feet ha is, uh, they come with a second pair of feet that are wider. And the XM1R has Kale 8.0 switches, whereas the original XM1 has uh, Omrons. I definitely recommend getting the white version, by the way. I think the white finish looks the cleanest in my opinion oh there it is okay so it comes with the extra feet in the box and i think i'm actually going to put these feet on just for a better glide because default it comes with like the four feet that are on the xm1 original also this mouse right now on m or on uh, newegg is going for 80 dollars canadian uh that comes out to roughly 65 dollars usd it does weigh 70 grams and honestly like the super lightweight mice, like the G Pro Super Light and stuff like that, or the honeycombed mice, I feel like super light mice aren't really for me. I like my mice like between 70 to 80 grams, I think is like the sweet spot. So with the XM1R around 70 grams, it's pretty much perfect for me. Also, I don't like honeycombs on my mice. Um, it's just like a personal preference thing, I guess, but I just don't like honeycombs on mice. So yeah, this is probably the mouse I've used for the longest. Like I've tried a lot of mice throughout my years, um, I'll put a list of the mice I've tried on the screen right now. The XM1R is pretty much like the mouse that I've stayed with for the longest, just because the shape is like pretty much what I've been looking for. Cable is super flexible. It's almost on the level of a paracord, but if you have it in a bungee, you pretty much won't notice the cable at all. It's one of the best cables that come stock with any mouse. The coating is great. Um, I would consider myself to have pretty moist hands usually. My hands are like rarely ever dry so with moist hands like this coating is really really grippy yeah the coating is great I, lo I love the coating both on the original and the xm1r they they feel pretty much the same i think actually xm1r i think the coating is a little more grippy yeah the xm1r coating is a little bit more grippy also the clicks on the xm1r are a lot more crisp i'll actually put a sound test right now for you okay so this is the original And this is the XM1R. You probably can't hear that big of a difference, but it does feel a lot more tactile. Actually, let's test out the glide. It feels pretty much the same. I think I'm gonna swap it out for these, these bigger feet though. There is no RGB on this mouse, by the way, which I actually like, I don't like RGB on mice. Yeah, honestly, it feels the same, to be honest, even with the big feet, there's like no difference. All right, guys, look how clean this looks on the desk. Shay. White is definitely the way to go. Um, but yeah, this was my unboxing and overview of the XM1R. Solid mouse. It's it's re it's just really nice. If you guys are claw grippers, definitely try this mouse out. You won't regret it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.